All right, guys, bring it on in. Yeah. Oh, dear Lord, we've um, we've had some success, some great, great success, and we thank you for that. And if it be your will, help it to continue. Um, just above all, help us to have fun, help us to get along, and uh, help us to learn something. Every day is a learning experience, and so let's let's um, let's try and learn something all the time. We love the great creation, man. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful country. Help us to respect it, and and uh, thank you that we have this. In your name, Amen. amen. <laughs> I am alive. From what I can see down there, we've got two cameramen ready to go hunting. And the two shooters, I still see a sleeping pad, a bag, tarp. I, I, Sometimes we have time to go poop. I, th I think that we can do some paperwork. Hey, buddy. Did you guys sleep under that thing? Not worth a crap. Me and Dirk are over too. On good sleeping spots. Dirk, how'd you sleep? I didn't sleep with a hoot. My legs hurt all night, so I laid there in pain, flip flopping. Hmm. Then I. Then they kind of quit hurting about the time the alarm went off. So I guess there's that. We're ready. Yep. We're going to kill a big one or two. Then right. we're going to pack for two days. And then we're going to pack. That would be the greatest two days of our life. It would yes, be. It would. it would be. I Skipping down the trail. I could think of two worse things to, that could happen if we didn't get to pack any meat at all. <laughs> that, that'd be pretty terrible. Yeah, we'll have to, so you're going to pack meat down or you're going to hike? That mountain over there. Let's we better, shoot. How much, food, kill how much food do you guys have? Two more mountains? I got two, food for two days. Margaret. I have a breakfast that I threw in extra that I can make into a meal. I can, I can make her. Well, it's uh, Monday morning right now. Next morning I killed my bull yesterday. And we just got up, ate a little breakfast, had some coffee. And we're going to load the meat up and haul her out and go get it in a cooler. But it got cold last night. It's all nice and cool. and good for the meat so anyways it's gonna be a long hike out and it's gonna suck really bad but good news is we're packing meat out and we got a bull down and then Chuck gets to come back in and hunt so I'm excited for that because I want Chuck to kill one so anyways nothing like proper care in the backcountry try to get this stuff cool as quick as you can get it hanging and uh, your freezer full of nice organic groceries for the winter. Bam, horn's loaded. It was a tradition that was passed down from generation to generation. Something we relied on every fall to fill the freezer, hang out with friends and family, something that bonded us and brought us all together.
hunting with family is my longest lasting tradition. I mean, I remember looking forward to opening day of rifle season more than Christmas morning. Hunting is just something that we've grown up with in our families, and we love the opportunity to get out here and do this every year, and it's, it's a lot more than just antlers. Tradition to me is spending time in the outdoors with close friends and family, passing it on to the next generation, the early morning sunrises that nobody else gets to see. Blacktails and elk are definitely a big part of that for me, but I love to go to new places too. I like the adventure and exploring new things, so that's what tradition is to me. Hunting is on my mind 365 days a year, from my first hunts as a rookie hunter, learning the ropes, to reminiscing about taking the kids on our spring hikes, or just sitting on the couch in late October, as I'm sure I'll be getting a nearly guaranteed call from the wife that she just dumped another big blacktail. Super loose. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, hang on. Okay, go ahead. So this is a uh, limb activated rest and. That's why I always carry an Allen wrench. It's super easy to adjust, but if it gets caught on something, that string will stretch, and then your rest isn't gonna function properly. This thing's supposed to stay down, and it'll stay there until I push this button to bring it up. So I'm just gonna tighten this, and then always leave a little extra in case you cut it on something. So just a good old backcountry tip, and always have one of these, or you will be hosed. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, guys, little tip, tech tip, is to um, check your equipment, look over it, look over your rest, because at the end of the day, if it doesn't go right, it could be a lot of opportunities miss, missed. Write that down. We got a guy following us, so Doc Flutie's just, he's trying, he's trying his best to call us in. We're gonna get over the hill here.
What would your what would your uh, alias be in the in the universal world? Or like I don't know. Oh, coin chain. Well, it'd probably, so it'd probably be pretty obvious, like Dirk the Bugle or Durham, but that it's not nearly badass enough. It needs to be something like Gay Silver Fox. <laughs> 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 I'll give you the people's elbow right now. I ain't afraid. What to would do your that. stage voice be like? <laughs> I'd be a lot like Macho Man Randy Savage. I mean, that guy don't mess around. He had a lot of emotion. He cut a rap album even. I mean, that would be my next step after bugling is cutting a rap album. Be a man, Hogan. That's the song. <laughs> Got it downloaded on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I need to uh, Unfortunately, God rest his soul, Macho Man is dead. Dead a couple years ago. Jason would be the uh, bushwhackers. I just looked at Dirk's no, head. No, no, what was the Andre the Giant? <laughs> <laughs> He'd have to start eating again, though. Eating the carbs. The Undertaker. Like he had like the world record for s most consumed beers in a 24-hour yeah. period. Yeah, he was drinking them by the pitcher. Just that guy was huge. Know. But our contest would be real. It wouldn't be fake like WWE, right, F, right. whatever you yeah, want to call it. E F G. <laughs> WWE, isn't that the women's? I don't even know. No, I think it's How would you know that, Cody? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of scandal that goes along with those things, too. Next thing you know, I get that full spread in Playgirl magazine. <laughs> it probably make me make me pull my butt apart. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> He's <spread> my butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> probably have <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> nice, probably have to use the alias My Concho. <laughs> So we found a bugle rock. Dirk ran us into a bluff. Decided to bugle from it and we had one pretty responsive. So if you think we hang quote that way, Okay, we're trying to figure out the wind here. We gotta go down and then around.
that, but yeah, no, I think second guess. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Could have went down the creek and then screwed it over. But I still still falling right to him though. Yeah. You can smell me. They're probably coming in a second. Boy. Long ways that way. Hurting. It's a uh, long ways out of here, and I'm feeling it. Can we just go, Mike? Are you kidding? What do you got going on, Charlie? Well, I <laughs> decided to sit down to take a load off. Yeah, not really good. Took me right over backwards. Man, <sighs> you get that wow. laying down stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah, I'm not getting out of this one. Yeah, I ain't talking. I felt good. Not much farther. We got about 200 feet to go. Elevation. And not very far. Just a matter of powering through the last piece. But I think we're kind of out of gas a little bit. Whew. These rocks freaking suck. Rolling? Yep. We rolling? Is this thing on? We are rolling, rolling. We are heading back to camp. Got John's bull taken care of, so now we are heading down to. Oh. We're, are we being serious? I'm gonna kill you. Are we being serious right now? No. Oh. So, we are not gonna be serious, and we are gonna just lollygag our way back down to camp. It's getting dark. Sun's almost behind the hill. Takes us about 
45 minutes to get to camp. <laughs> <laughs> we got a long ways to go. So it'll be, it will be well in the dark by the time we get there, but uh, hopefully we can get my tag filled pretty quick so we can go and uh, enjoy ourselves in the creek pool. We were gonna all take a little siesta together in the uh, oh, creek. Boy. Wash up a little, scrub each other's backs, you know. Tired. I woke Chuck up in the middle of the night. I had to pee. I'm pretty sure I thought he was going to do something to me because I ended up clear to the right side of the tent. Yeah, he wasn't even on his mattress. He's clear over there on the side. He must have got nervous at me last night or something. There, there must have been some weird stuff happening <laughs> on that side of the tent. That's all I can say. Because <laughs> I've been staying dead center on this thing pretty much. Yeah. Uh, we ran out of water yesterday, so we're just replenishing right now, so we have some water for the day. And then we're gonna hike up and try and glass some elk here and get on one. here mm -hmm. I'm talking we might need to skirt out into this timber and come through this flat spot see how flat that is that's flat as a pancake right there and then right around over through here up oh, well, no that's not flat that's not flat at all you gotta go. no neither is that and there's one spot that's gonna be steep getting up but it I mean, it comes right down through here I, 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 look back oh we got a champ back here. I can like run a Mount Everest expedition. Look at this. It's a nice, beautiful avalanche shoot right here. We're just gonna waltz down this thing. And there's elk all over down in that flat. Pretty sure I proved him wrong. Hey. Can you guys not walk down this? Just wondering if these basins of the winds are lots more stable than on those basins that are out there. <clears throat> you going in? Let's see what it looks like, eh? Steve's going in. So you remember last year when we hunted with Nick and the crew in Montana, we found a grizzly bear den. I don't know if they're grizzly bears, but a bear den. We just came across this. Pretty cool. Get in there, Nick. Steve's, Steve's going in. I don't got big balls of Steve. Pull out your nine. <laughs> Throw some bullets in there. Give it, give it to Steve. Gangster style. Oh, there's not going to be anything in there. I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah. Does it get bigger, Steve? No, but you can definitely tell it's a den. It goes back in there a ways. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's really cool. stacks up around it. Mm-hmm. Like, I bet you if you came in here, like, right after it's spring, yeah. 
I bet you you'd be able to tear, tell where okay. it's been in there laying. And, uh, that's kind of cool when you see stuff like that. You don't see it very often. No, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell it just dug it all out. Game I'm camera probably, right here. Yeah. Probably Come back bear. Here next year. I would imagine. I would say bear. Yeah. yeah. I'd say bear. Or a Sasquatch. Or a Sasquatch. Because that one that back home years ago when Buddy shot that bear and it went back to its den. Yeah. You see feces peeling on these trees. Oh, oh peeling on them, yeah. yeah. Um, it went back to its den. This was in October. And I couldn't believe, dude, the hole was smaller than that 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 bear got in. And it was smaller than that in there. And it was just hollowed out. It was just hollowed out in the ground where the bear just laid there. Then it got western then, because it was still alive when I stuck my head in there. <laughs> then I got How do you F that up? How do you mess that up that bad? Can I, can I see it? Yeah, sure. You just put it in the hole. It's so bad. I think it's broken. <laughs> what did you do? You're pulling so hard. You had it locked. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, because I'm a. It is your bad. You're camera clipper extraordinaire. Go kill it out. <laughs> Shut up. You me. Up the canyon. Yes. Find me. Sounds like he's bedded after the 77,000th bugle today. <laughs> we got an answer. All it takes is one. So we're gonna go try and kill him. He sounds like he's bedded. He didn't sound like he was super interested, but he told us where he was at, so that's all that matters. Yeah. Right up in here. He could be closer, but we'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you never know. This stuff drowns a bugle so, so much. It, it, you never know how far away they really are, but we're gonna give her heck. Gonna give her heck. He's a cross. He's on the other hill. Dude, this just in. Read the text. Boom. Jason just aired a five by six waiting to track. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> well, F and A, Jason. Good okay, job, brother. No, 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 no. Not with <laughs> and take three. Not with the F and A. That's like not actually the cuss word. We're not doing this, remember? <laughs> legacy move. Alright? Make a legacy move. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. This is awesome, guys. Jason got got a bull tonight, so we got two down. Yep, two down. And two to go. Two to go. Captain Warhead here tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning, <laughs> team he's going to start. <laughs> team Wolfpack's going to start throwing some carbon. We just need to get some bulls fired up, but it's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. Good happen. job, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. We're going to go find a flat spot and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah.
What was that? Twenty-five. I had to drill it. for exactly what the range was. Sounded good. He's, he's going really slow. Yeah. Boom. You know, the watermelon thump. And he's going really slow looking down at his. I hope hope everything's good. You we've been here a lot where everything seems good. You leveled the bow, anchored. Um thud sounded good. He's obviously hurt because he's not going anywhere. We'll give him Half hour, 45 minutes due to light. Hey, and on the plus side, down the creek is cranking. <laughs> There's a couple of them. Dude, this is so frustrating trying to get a shot in this brush. Seeing that bowl for what, probably 20 minutes? More. More than 20 minutes, and he would turn and I would twist. Me and Jeff at one point were trying to be. Make a, make a decision if we could get a shot through that three inch by three inch hole that was in the lens. What'd we, about 45 minutes ago, we shot a bull. I shot a bull. We think the shot was really good. Um, about 28 yards away, we guessed it for 30. Uh, hit looked good, sounded good. He ran over here and up in this flat. Stood there for what, probably a minute, minute and a half. Turned around. You could tell he was looking at something and then uh, he kind of walked off just real slow. So we're going to go try to check for the arrow and then get on his blood here before we run out of daylight. He ran out that trail. Or did he go up? I thought he ran out. I don't see an arrow just sitting here. Unless he carried it. Shooting up. He had to be back. Here. And he was tall right here because he was right on the edge of that. It had to be right here. Yeah. I don't need to find an arrow, but... If it hit that rock, it might have skimmed out too. Quite a ways. Oh, he had to be right there, though. Where he dropped. Clean shot, I mean perfectly broadside, unless he was up higher. He might have had it on his other side still. Maybe he was higher. Well, that's the tree he was raking, right? Wasn't he raking something over here? What's that? Or that? What's that? <laughs> was that what he was raking? I don't know. He's he like got this little guy right here. Yeah. Or this that guy and one. that guy. Yeah. I think he was beating that up. But I definitely shot him when he was raking. Here's blood. Already. Blood, blood. We got blood here already. He's probably staring back at the arrow. What he's doing. There's a bunch of blood here. Blood. Lots of blood, blood. Looking good. Blood on that log. A bunch of blood on this rock. Blood down there. 
There's blood up here. A lot of blood in this trail. A lot of blood right here spilling out. That looks good. Then what do you do? Do you not get... That's where you went the other way. Where do you go from here? I turned. Did you go up the hill maybe? Where's he go? Looks like right, right there, here. Where's the blood? Okay. Keep that stick broke. Are you gonna stay there on last blood, Jeff? Yeah. So right there is our last blood right now. We got a big pile of blood right there. And then it just literally stops. He's only about 40 yards from where he shot him. There's a blade deformed right there. It's stuck into a tree. I don't smell any gut or anything. So. Just that one blade got chipped a little bit. Does not have anything to even go on. Like a direction. 360 degrees is the, where he could have went. At that log, they should have... He should have, like, as he stepped over, jiggled some blood loose. At it. Hands and knees, there's just nothing. Nothing there. The nut, yeah, there's no, not there, a speck. There's, there's a speck on this side of the log and a speck on that side of the log. And then that's it. My hands and knees did a lot. I don't understand. <laughs> if you got a computerized truck, we can dissect that sucker. See if it's worth coming back in. Yeah, I mean, I think if it's close, dude, I'd I'll spend a day in here. It'd be, <clears throat> it'd be pretty hard to <clears throat> see on the screen if it was a low shot, because you know, even a right in the middle, the yellow is sometimes hard to see. Yeah. But if it's low down in the dark, dark it. hair, you won't That's see. The thing is, when he ran off, I never saw any blood. Didn't see, yeah. Or a spot. And I saw, I seen him, his full body go through a clearing. Mm -hmm. I didn't see no spot, but it was like a, just a flat. Yeah. When he stood there, I could just see his, like, back ham and butt. Yeah. He was turning to his right, like, looking down, I mean, you know, looking look back. back. I don't know if you ever came this way, but. He was looking down to his right, you know, like, I don't know what he was looking at, because he was, like, only see his head. Arrow never hit, entered the cavity, never had no bubbly blood, no, no lung blood to speak of. So I'm just thinking, something like either like a shoulder blade hit like that, 
Yeah, I don't think my, blood. my arrow wouldn't a meter through. No. We gotta be like, I'm guessing like throat, lower brisket before you get into the bone or super low in the chest. And then maybe a little bit further back, like below behind. the guts, the huh. paunch. Well, no, not from where that heart sits. Yeah. So you tucked got in a the liver, though. Instead of tucked in the armpit, a little further back. But a liver would have, I mean, an angle like that, it would have been dark blood and lots of it. Yeah. And a liver shot, they don't. Yeah. They don't go. They, they lay down things. pretty quick. Yeah. They bleed out fast. So this guy should be blood trail. Well. I don't know, we've been on our hands and knees, what, for two hours? Yeah. Daylight and dark, and there's just no sign of any direction on which way to go. He gets that log and that's the last blood. I've never been on a blood trail that just flat out stops. It goes from being that good to nothing. Especially with a sharp broadhead, usually you, at least you get surface blood for a while. I've seen and it's freaking it's sucks. the craziest thing ever. The last thing you want to do, you know, I mean, it's just like, you work so hard. And yeah, everybody's worked so hard for that one shot, and then, well, yeah, I mean, been freaking pounding ground, covering yeah. steep country, and all of us working our butt off, and you just trade dirt 22 seconds ago, and <laughs> it's just, <laughs> well, you know who's shooter tomorrow? Well, we got a brushy mile and a half walk back to camp. Sucks. Yeah. Bad. Yep. You find out what someone's made of when there's a little bit of struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna head over and we got about five, 400, 500 yards to go to get up this wallow. We've just been waiting for the wind to change and it's finally changed. So we're gonna make our way up and go find a good spot to sit over there. We've seen a nice bowl up there three nights ago. Go head for that wallow. So kind of hoping maybe something will happen midday while we're eating lunch so we can glass and listen see if we can get a bead on some elk so we can actually go hunt some because we've seen a few tracks but just they're kind of hard to find right now they're just not really talking so it's making it tough cross your fingers what are we doing john <clears throat> Well, why are your boots muddy? <laughs> My uh <laughs> We're eating lunch right now. But um I had a little mishap back here. Uh Charlie, there's a wallow behind us. The little rug rat took off through the wallow and stepped on the downside of it and he didn't sink too bad. <coughs> And uh, I decided to go around the upside. Well, that's right where the seep was coming out of the ground. And I sunk bad several times. And I almost went face first into the mud. <laughs> so now my boots are caked in elk piss. And <laughs> they're a hot mess. 
so anyways we're eating lunch and we're calling and we're just gonna sit here for the day maybe see if a bowl come in and swallow Chuck's getting antsy hey John remember when your doctor told you you're obese <laughs> I don't know no he did not yes you're alive you're fat and that proves it I need to lose some weight <laughs> Chuck says because I sank in the mud that I'm fat. <laughs> Phelps would have been up to his neck. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the gains. That's, that's what it is. It's all the extra muscle. I, it just took me down. This is what I have to hunt with. <laughs> he loves me. No, I don't. <laughs> he loves me. I don't at all. We just, uh, Got a phone call from Nick uh, and the boys in Colorado. Uh, Steve killed, and then Nick said he was on at full draw on a giant, but never got a shot, needed one more step. Uh, good just touching base with them and just kind of seeing what's going on and seeing how everyone's doing, keep the spirits up. So at least good to talk to your buddies. So um, kind of told them what had happened and whatnot. So anyways, I hope that they kill one, wish them the best of luck, and we're on it too, so. It's kind of nice not to talk to him. It is actually. Yeah, it's I Nick. don't miss. I don't miss <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so we'll hopefully we'll touch base. We'll keep touching base with them, see how they're doing, and we'll go from there. Defeated again by really rugged country. Couldn't make it across the creek to make a play on the bowl, so we'll leave him for tomorrow. I need to answer earlier. I, know. Can't. I just don't think the rut's in like full swing yet, obviously, but it's that you'd think that this far back in here they would start talking a little bit. I'm pretty sure that bull was pushing that cow around. That's why he popped off right there towards the top of the yeah that hill down low. Yeah. Hey John, look at my shadow. <laughs> <laughs> So it's giveaway time, but we need your help to figure out a name for the Idaho group. We got uh, Team Kilroy and Team America in Colorado, but we don't really have a good name for the Idaho group, which is me and John. So anyway, first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, you need to like and subscribe, uh, subscribe to uh, Angry Mountain Productions and uh, 
go ahead and let her fly with the comments, you know? I mean, don't know if it's a really good idea or not, but hey, we're gonna have fun with it, see what you guys come up with. So anyway, we will choose the winner on the recap um, this weekend, and whoever that is, we'll get a skull hooker, a, a shirt, a couple stickers, and a skull hooker hat. We appreciate skull hooker giving these uh, to us to uh, give away, so. Anyway, let her fly, can't wait. Oh, Chuck, I love you, you're the man. Um, by this weekend for the recap, you meant on Tuesday. So our recap for Idaho and Colorado will be Tuesday. Uh, we are not uploading videos on Saturday or Sunday. We're gonna stick to weekdays, kind of give you guys a break, let you do your thing on the weekends, family, kids, whatnot. Um, we appreciate the heck out of all you guys watching, all the comments, we love it. A hard loss tonight for Phelps. Uh, I feel bad for him. We've all been there. If you bow hunt long enough, it's bound to happen. Um, but yeah, we'll touch on all that stuff in the recap. But uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it means the world to us. So listen to Chuck on how to get entered and uh, win yourself some skull hookers. Obviously, obviously we all use them. They're pretty awesome. Great way to hang your stuff. Get your wife to yell at you as she comes home with a brand new head up. So, anyways, thanks guys. Start me up.